Hello, you sexy viscous, and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. So I had a comment on my Kingdom Come Deliverance versus real life video. This was from Lurch, and they said, The Retai Bathhouse on Google Maps reviews are amazing. So this inspired me to head over there and see what they meant. And I have discovered that it's not only Retai Bathhouse that has amazing reviews. So here we are, looking over nowadays Retai. If I was to zoom in here, you guys could see that it still looks practically the same. Now, of course, I have done a video on this, and I am doing a second part very, very soon, so make sure to subscribe so you can see that. But here is what Retai looks like nowadays, and you may be noticing, well, hang on a minute, that's where the bailiff lives. Well, yes, that building is in the same place that the town hall was. Even the church is in the same place. Now, yes, the original, unfortunately, was destroyed during the Renaissance, but... They have actually rebuilt on top of the original location. And if we were to head up a little bit, you guys can see that this is the main high street. And I, of course, showed this in my recent video. But if we were to zoom out and take a quick look at the reviews here, you guys can see that there are some pretty interesting things. So first things first, let's click on Retai Bathhouse and take a quick look. Now, unfortunately, we do not have any street view of this because the car just didn't go down here. So here we are looking at Retai Bathhouse. <laughs> here it is. I love that the website shows KingdomComeRPG.com. <laughs> now, of course, anyone can come in here and suggest an edit. Now, I'm guessing that's what's happened here in Google due to the amount of people doing it has assumed that that is actually their website. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, it is closed today, but it is open Monday, 24 hours a day. <laughs> so it's open all the time, apart from Sundays. Also, no one has claimed this business, but after you see the reviews, I can see why. So scrolling down, we have our first comment. Good establishment. Make sure you don't walk into the restricted area in the back, though. They're open during the day. I wouldn't really advise going at night, as there was an incident involving Hans K. Pon and some lackey of his. Jesus Christ be praised. I think you can kind of get the angle that these reviewers are going down. Had a good time with my good friend's hands here, and we had a good fight with a guy named Arson Balls. What a funny lad that was. We both had a good time in the same bathtub, drinking of course. The laundry came out splendidly. I recommend this place if you want to have a good time with the workers and smell good after again. There is also no better feeling than to arrive to this place and the workers being very happy that you came to visit. There is no better place for all these services in all Kingdom of Bohemia. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm here for the plus two charisma because I have some goods to sell in town. Jesus Christ be praised. Oh, it's fantastic. I came here a lot of times because the sweetness of the local wenches is unparalleled throughout the whole of Bohemia. I can't swim, but I enjoy bathing very much. Now excuse me, for I am a bit hungry. Jesus Christ be praised. So it's safe to say if you have a business in Retai or anywhere else in Kingdom Come Deliverance, then uh, make sure to check your reviews because they might not be completely accurate. So the next place we're going to look at is this. Now I'm assuming that this is actually a hotel. So if you're looking to stay in Retai, this is probably the best place to do it. There you go, free promotion from Sexy Biscuit. Looking at the reviews here, they actually are accurate, so unfortunately there's nothing about Kingdom Come Deliverance here. But I wanted to point this out because I think it's awesome that you can actually stay in Retai. So the next place we're going to look at is the church. Nice place, but minus one star, because every time I visit, everybody constantly says, Hey, Zardy has come to see us. I would love it in Retire if people actually did come up to you and were like, Oh, hey, Roxy's come to see us. That would be amazing. I really do hope that someone from these locations actually watches the channel, because if you do, that is amazing. And I really do want to visit soon, so please, if you see me, come up to me and say, Hey, Roxy's come to see us. That would make my day. Dustin says, no sign of Henry. Damn it. Probably the most fitting review here is, Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> I bet you're wondering right now, what about Miller Peshek? No one was thinking that. 
Well, if we head down the road a little bit, you guys can see that there is a camp here. Now, this may not be the exact same spot, but I did find something quite interesting. So if we were to click on this, you have this nice little area here. So this looks very fancy. There's a nice bridge here. You can put out a tent or whatever. But as with everything else, it's the reviews that we want to read. Paid off the debt I owe to the local Milo Pesek. He was kind enough to teach me sneaky thief skills. After trying to lock pick the Miller's chest for about an hour, I left and shagged Teresa in the barn. Hashtag Henry. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? <laughs> I don't know the rules anymore. Heading up a little bit further, we find another camp. Okay, the bed was pretty poor, but at least I could save. Whew. I love this so much. Now this next one is a set of photographs and doesn't really relate to Kingdom Come Deliverance, but I wanted to show you anyway. So if we were to click on this and go down to photos, it's absolutely stunning. Now apparently there is actually a lookout set here, so you can come up here and take pictures looking over the retired area. And if we zoom in a little bit, you guys can even see that you can actually see the church in Ritai. I think that's absolutely amazing. Honestly, this countryside is absolutely beautiful. And you've got to remember that only over the river is Ledechko, which is right here. So it's not that far away at all. As one of the comments says from Peter, they say you can get here along the path from Ratai from the castle. Not exactly as in Kingdom Come Deliverance, but you see a significant part of the map from the game. From Ratai to Ledechko. I think that is absolutely incredible. So heading a little bit further up. This is obviously now the town square, or more like a crescent moon. It looks like a Jaffa cake. <laughs> Someone has bitten into a Jaffa cake and this is what's been left behind. But I'm noticing that they now have a club here. I can imagine Henry just dancing away at Club Narichi. <laughs> While looking through the reviews, I'm sad to say that there are no references to Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm very, very sad right now. Although, if we head up to the upper castle of Ratai, we do. Me old friend Bernie taught me master strikes to this location, and my dude Saranush gave me some pretty dank armor because I stabbed Peter, the black with the long sword. 10 out of 10. Oh, that's fantastic. And I love that they've actually put pictures from Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> I, I love how Google isn't taking these down. They're just like, yeah, it's expected at this point. Southern Fried Media says, Henry's come to see us. I think the thing that I find most fascinating about this is now it's become a post office. <laughs> it's gone from the place where Sir Hanish and Hans Capon lived to a, a, a post office. Yeah, it's, it's kind of gone downhill a little bit. So moving out of Ratai a little bit, we find this building. I might be an idiot, but I don't actually remember this building. But it does relate to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Monty says, I am honored that a knight such as you should read this review. <laughs> I've got to say that I do feel sorry for these local guides that are trying to be serious with these reviews. And then you have people like us going, I'm honoured that a knight such as you would read this review. I'm so sorry, Ratai. So there you have it. I know it's a little bit different than I normally do, but if you want me to take a look at the other towns and see what other reviews we can find, I can do that. I am making a second part of Kingdom Come Deliverance versus Real Life very, very soon, so make sure to keep an eye out for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me, out. Bye, guys.